so never seems to end. The working, the working, working. Good thing is, for the past uh, four hours, I have not worked at all. Actually, uh, ended up going to the other side of town and uh, meeting my sister and my niece. And uh, we went out shopping together and had a really good lunch and some ice cream and just kind of bullshit a little bit. And had a pretty good morning. So, but now it's time to get back to the grind and get back to going through all that stuff that I'm moving. Now, just got a phone call today. <coughs> Excuse me. We got uh, Dairy Queen. Not a sponsor. I haven't been to Dairy Queen in a very, very long time. But while at Dairy Queen, I got a phone call. And the uh, management company at the place where I have my storage units, uh, they called me up and they said that tomorrow they're going to be swapping out the doors on the storage unit. So uh, luckily I got most of it done, but uh, I'm going to go there tomorrow morning and get the front of it all cleared out. And I'm just going to kind of spend the day processing and just going through stuff there. So I'm going to load up all my uh, trailers, or my trailers, I'm going to load up all my trash cans onto the trailer. And I'm just going to go there and process everything. And um, I don't think I've posted in a video yet, but I got a lot of the shelving done. And uh, I should finish the rest of it uh, probably this afternoon. Uh, as far as I got to pull down some shelving at my, my shop to put it up there. Yay, racetrack. Uh, yeah. I'm just, it was a fun morning. I was supposed to go measure a job, but that didn't quite happen. Um, it, I was able to salvage it and, and had a really good time with my sister. And uh, ended up finding a really funky pair of shoes back there. That was pretty cool. So I think I'm gonna put me they put uh, put a little outfit together. But they're like black and purple, and they're really like you know gothic vampire type of shoes. Uh, eight bucks too. This is something weird. I've never seen anything like it. And the laces, like instead of going down the center, they kind of curl around. If I had them in my hands, I'd show them to you, but I'm not going to stop my vehicle and do that right now. So, and uh, my house is coming along pretty good. Been doing a lot of work inside my house every single night. Uh, I got most of the ceilings done. And uh, probably Monday. Since uh, nothing's going to be open, I think Monday I'm going to concentrate on getting all the, uh, the crown and the base and all that stuff down. So, yeah, hopefully by the end of next week, I'll be ready to do like a little impromptu or a little tour inside the house. So, that would be cool to show you guys the, the chaos that I'm living in. So. I'm still trying to find like this one kind of special little shelf which I thought I found one at a garage sale this morning but the lady was kind of a uh, not a nice person I think that's, that'll be a, a safe word to use but I asked her I was like you know how much are the uh, she had two shelves there I was like, how much are the shelves she like 20 bucks I was like okay and then she had that or best offer I was like, well, what would you take? You know, you best off or what do you do? Oh, well, I really want to get 20 for it. So, you know, in my mind, I'm a little confused about the whole, what's the best offer if you want 20, you want 20. So I'm thinking about paying 20. And uh, someone else comes up, I guess uh, more in tune with her wavelength. And uh, he kind of says, how much are the shelves? Oh, for you, $10. I'm like, wait a minute now. You know, so kind of got under my skin just a little bit, you know, just trying to understand what was happening. But to each your own, you know, she didn't want my money. She didn't want my money. So I kind of want to say more, but I'm just going to leave it alone at that. So anyways, I'm going to head over to this one little thrift store. Uh, last time I went there, I bought this uh, really cool, like, it was a, actually a bottom of a TV stand. It had like, I think, seven or nine 
drawers in it and I use it as a dresser. So, uh, but I picked it up for like, I think 20, $23, I think it was. And I actually re-donated the top of it, which was the TV part. So I, uh, I just bought the bottom, but it was like 23 bucks after. It was 75% off their normal price. So, yeah, I'm gonna go back over there because every time I seem to go there, I end up finding you know quite a few very unique items. Uh, the actual thrift store, I'll give them a little shout out here, is uh, Vincent DePaul. And I don't get over there very often, but uh, you know it's right there at the corner of St. Augustine Road and San Jose. So, but it's an interesting place to go shop. Uh, um, all their clothing is in size, you know, it's like it, it's somewhat organized, more so than other places. And um, they have a really cool furniture area where they get in some cool pieces, so. But anyways, uh, that's it for now. I'm gonna go and uh, I got one more shopping day ahead of me, which I'm trying not to shop, but uh, there's another thrift store that on Monday, their entire store, everything in the store is gonna be half off. And I'm probably going to go there Monday morning and just kind of wander. I, there's not much that uh, I usually buy from that store. You know, last time I went in there, I think I spent like 20 bucks. But when they have sales, they're usually pretty good. So. But luckily, I'm at a point in my life where I'm really kind of getting tired of shopping. So. Oh, and last night, uh, for a little bit, I was over at the studio working in there. I got a... I got me a webcam to where I'm going to set it up and try to do some live streaming, but I want to test it out a little bit just to see how the audio comes in and how all that's going to happen, so it's going to be quite unique. So, but anyways, that's it for now. Peace, love, money, I'm out.